Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Blistec Solutions Tuesday Tech Tips. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a scheduling poll in Outlook that you can send um, a list of times that you're available for a meeting and allow other people to vote on those times so that you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards asking people when they're available. And it's particularly useful if you're trying to arrange a meeting with, with quite a few people. This is built into Outlook. It's quite a new feature, so you may not have seen it before. So I'm going to show you how it works. So I've opened a new email, I've put in some um, uh, recipients who I want to attend the meeting and I've put a bit of text in. And then what I'm going to do is in the message um, menu, we have schedule new poll. So that's going to pop up and it's going to give us a few options. So we have the meeting uh, duration, we have a date uh, when we can select that meeting for. So I'm going to select next Thursday. Um, we can schedule within working hours or outside of working hours, um, but I'm going to leave it working hours. And then we can select some options of meeting times that we want to offer. Um, we then click next. And then we have a few settings that we can select here. So um, the top one will automatically schedule the meeting when everybody's uh, reached a consensus. Um, this one will put the times as tentative, all the times in your diary until it's been, uh, the vote is completed. Uh, this one's to send you emails about the up, uh, updates on the poll. This one requires attendees to verify their identity, so that will require that they authenticate. And then the final one is locking it, so it means people can't make any changes. So uh, I'm gonna leave all that at default. I'm gonna put in um, a location here for an important meeting, and then I'm gonna create the poll. So this adds the poll to the email and when I click send, all the recipients are going to get an email um, to uh, ask them to vote on the poll. The process behind the scenes is, um, you know, there's quite a few steps involved. So I'm going to show you one I, I made earlier so you can see what it will look like from a recipient and then see what it looks like when people have accepted that poll. So here we've got um, one of the recipients. Uh, they've received an email asking them to vote on the poll. And when they click that button, they'll be taken to another page where they'll be asked to verify their identity. Either logging into Microsoft 365 or if they don't have a 365 account, they can have a one-time password emailed to them. And then they get to choose which options work for them. So they uh, select all the required options and then this option down here would be uh, available and they would be able to select vote. I can't do this now because it's one we created earlier. Now, when everybody's been through that process, what will happen is I will receive an email to say that everybody's completed their poll and it will automatically schedule that in my diary. Uh, and also the additional thing that it does, it sends a meeting invite from me to the recipients for that time that everybody's voted on and ask them to accept it. Um, so let's just show you what that looks like in, when it receives, uh, when I received that email. So here we can see that uh, we received an email that the poll has reached consensus. Um, people will have automatically been emailed to ask the, uh, to, within a meeting invite for the time that everybody can make, which they can then accept. So this is a really simple way of allowing you to arrange a meeting of, by offering people multiple different options of times um, and then automatically schedule it when everybody's decided on that time. I hope you found the tip useful. I'll see you again next time.